Hey guys, Master Kids back with some Borderlands 2 for you today, of course, and this is going to be a brief uh, treasure room tutorial again. Since the uh, patch rolled out, what they did was they removed the collision model from the Leviathan, so it pretty much well made uh, my previous tutorials outdated. So this one is a technique that also has been uh, known about since pretty much well the Captain Scarlet's DLC was uh, released. This has been a, another technique that a lot of people use, but I just hated doing it with the Leviathan body there. So this is now pretty much the best way to do it. It doesn't uh, require a second account, and you can actually just get in there, provided you have the correct mission available. If you don't have the correct mission available, you may need to reset your progress and get that mission available. Uh, but that's something that you'll have to work out for yourself. So let's get on with the tutorial and uh, let's let's start it. Where are we? So here we are in Oasis and at the uh, bounty board here, you'll see that there's a mission there and uh, it'll actually let you go back and refight the Leviathan and enter the treasure room for the second time. So if you have this mission available, uh, it means that you can actually go and refarm the treasure room a second time legitimately. Now we're gonna use that to our advantage and uh, we're going to show you how to actually constantly farm it, providing you have that mission available and active. So here we are up at the top of Magnus Lighthouse, and uh, this is all necessary. You need to do all of this for this mission, so I thought I'd cut it together and at least uh, show you what was involved. I'm sure everyone already knows what's involved, but once this is all done, uh, you don't have to do all of these steps again. Uh, once these are done, it's pretty much all businesses as usual. It makes the farm a little bit longer, but it's still uh, quite farmable and it's still a way that you can get into the treasure room. So right here, we're going to get eaten by the worm and we're going to be taken down into the, uh, the Leviathan. And uh, of course, this is, the, this is the, whole, the whole thing that we've got to do. We have to go through this. So here we are. We just beat Roscoe. Uh, I, I've tried to cut it as quick as I can to make it. Uh, as succinct and straight to the point. So you beat Roscoe, of course. This is all one recording too, so this isn't isn't cut. This is just one recording, back to back, straight away, just to show you that this does work. Uh, so after, of course, you've beaten Roscoe, what you have to do is uh, head down and you have to actually fight the Leviathan himself. So we're gonna cut toward the end of the fight. So here we are fighting the Leviathan. Now the key to this whole thing is just being aware that you can't turn this mission in. This mission has to be, re uh, has to remain active in your quest log. A lot of people that will annoy, but I think it's uh, it's not a really a bad thing. It's a good trade-off uh, because you can constantly farm the treasure room. But you'll see that the Leviathan's body's there as normal as it is because we've done the uh, mission legitimately. And what you are supposed to do here is head across, go into the treasure room and then the credits will roll. But what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do the treasure room uh, glitch, but uh, the, the visual indicators are still there. So once you get to here, you can sort of look to the left and you can see the spike. You wanna line up with the spike, head towards it, of course, until you hit the invisible wall. And then you wanna hold forward and left. So you sort of push forward and get into the corner and then use your preferred technique to get into the glitch. Uh, there is multiple ways to do it. I'm not gonna cover it, but the glitch from here on out, it's business as usual. If you can get into the glitch, uh, the treasure room is completely farmable. And what I'll do is I'm gonna do a complete run and then I'm gonna show you what you have to do to actually make it farmable. So, but uh, yeah, it's interesting that they would actually patch it this far along in the game's life. I mean, it's 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 been out for so long and it was really a, a harmless thing. I think the only thing I can think in the back of my mind is that with the new Ultimate Vault Hunter upgrade pack coming out, maybe there could have been side effects to uh, actually increasing maybe the loot drop rates and it would have made the treasure room too good or there could have been other side effects unknown that could have affected something. Uh, it, there's, there has to be a reason. I, I just don't see why they would patch it. I mean, of course it's a glitch and you are doing something that they don't intend, but... Uh, it's something harmless, and like I said in the live stream the other day, the General Knox's Armory was one of the things that made that DLC so popular. People want an end-of-game lootable source that you could constantly run, and this is uh, was filling that need for so many people. But uh, for a lot of people now, 
you may have to put in a little bit of work before you can get to this point where you have the mission available where you can actually come in and farm it, but uh, it is still farmable. And of course, because I am Master J Kiz, Rockefeller III Esquire, of course I get a legendary, and of course it's a caustic infinity on the run, so uh, very, very happy there. But now what I'm going to show you is all you have to do is uh, escape, quit, and then reload, and what will happen is you will reload back into the, the Leviathan's body, and uh, what you can do is actually just run straight back down. And after that, it's just business as usual. You can just constantly do it. So this is what I was talking about where it makes it a little bit longer. So you have to run through uh, sort of the bowels of whatever his stomach or whatever here and uh, get back to his little area, which isn't too bad, especially if you use a siren with a breakneck banshee set up. It's really not too bad at all. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you here just to see that it, it's all above board. It definitely works. I, re I recorded it all in one sitting uh, just to make sure it all did work. And yeah, it's definitely a technique. Like I said, it's a very old technique. Nobody has shown me anything new yet. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time looking for different spots where I may be able to glitch in. Uh, but I really think Gearbox have maybe put a bit of time in and said, okay, we don't want people getting in like this. But uh, a little bit more work, but you can still do it. All you have to do is keep that mission active. So you see up on the screen where it says turn in, never turn that mission in. That is the key here. Never turn that mission in. As long as it's not turned in, you can constantly come back to this area uh, through there and you can farm the treasure room business as usual. So... Anyway, guys, I thought I'd do an update because generally the, the treasure room videos that I have uploaded have more views than anything on my channel. So I thought I would do a bit of an update to show you that, yes, it's still farmable. There are a few requirements before you can get it to the farmable stage. Uh, but yeah, you still can get in there. So let me know if you have any other new uh, techniques, any other way that you get in. If you do discover something new, let me know in the comments and I'll check it out. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Get back in that treasure room and get yourself some gear. Until the next video, we'll see you later.